Here we are. This is our LVL beam. LVL is a uh, laminated veneer lumber. So it's a glorified plywood. Here are your veneers, plies, layers, what have you. It's a, an inch and three quarter dimension. Uh, very usually, that's most common. And then when you're talking about what size you need to do a span, we're talking about its height. Well, this dimension shown here. Um, this is seven and a quarter, just like our two by eight ceiling joists. It's a nominal two by eight, and it's an actual seven and a quarter. And uh, this is a seven and a quarter. So when we go up in here, we're going to be basically flush, coplanar here. <clears throat> it calls for two layers of the inch and three quarter. Like I say, it gives us uh, a three and a half inches, which is. Uh, Theoretically what we left for a gap here and like I said, we made ourselves a little more room so that we're sure that it'll go right in um, The pair of them are here. I got two pieces stacked up at the appropriate length and uh, Which I determined <clears throat> With a tape measure a you know as usual anyway We're going to laminate these together and that means we're gonna pin the ends which is nice and then we're gonna pin it together with nails throughout the whole length. How do we do it correctly? You want to go in intervals of 16 inches, every 16 inches, like your wall spacing. And ideally, you want that location every 16 inches to work out stacked up right on your wall framing. And <clears throat> how many times are we going to go? It's going to be a vertical line of nails or fasteners. And this is a 2 by 8 roughly. Uh, nominally so we're gonna go four times if it was two by six we'd go three times if it was two by four we'd go twice if it was two by twelve we'd do six times so given that it's a two by eight nominal every 16 inches we're gonna put one two three four nails one two three four one two three four and that completes and creates one piece from two uh, that's the the method by which you do that um, I'm gonna shoot it together down here with my pass load and then I'm gonna care this is kind of as big and as heavy as you'd want for one person I'm gonna come in here on the ladder in the center I'm gonna go up and there are my two by four blocks that I'm going to swing in underneath it and it'll kind of sit up there on those and then I can operate underneath both ends of it uh, but I just want to give you a sense of what it looks like on the bench here